What's going on guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to another video of Price Action Trading. And before we get started, let's take a quick look at the daily chart because few traders asked me how I actually analyze my daily chart before I start trading. And I normally don't pay that much of attention to candlesticks on daily chart when they are in the no man's land like this. Yes, if the bar is really bullish, I might be more up to go long. If the bar is really bearish like today, I might be looking for shorts more. But normally i pay big significance to candlestick on daily chart once they are near some sort of big important key level support resistance or trend lines this is where i'm starting to you know get more attentive because right here when once we made this double bottom right here i'm really leery to go short i'm really leery to go long at this double top right here now that doesn't mean i'm not doing this because that's the good advantage of intraday trading that we can both buy and sell at the same day because there is a lot of room for us to take our scalp portion so this is this is advantage of intraday trading but just to make some things clear I only pay you know significant attention once we are near some sort of important key level when I when we are in the middle of no man's land I'm not you know I'm I don't pay that much attention to it today's price action started with and move down up and down up and down up and down very trading range like looking we're swinging up and down up and down through the EMA and we are going sideways here so this is a clear sign that we are in the trading range now this is a consolidation a lot of traders don't know what's gonna happen here so they're just waiting and sitting on the sidelines we have a trend line working lower and we might have a possible break here and a new low but the break is not that clear and this is what I was thinking at the time Nevertheless, we have a break and a new low if this is a break if it's not a break if it's not that clear because because if we just move the trend line a little bit higher We are still inside of this trend channel working lower But we bounce here from the low we are working higher We have a break and a new high and take a look at this. This is all we had This is all the bullish momentum we had we bounced from the low. This was the double bottom and all we all the bulls managed to do was this tiny little correction working higher break any new high so this bullish trend has now played out with the break and a new high so once we have these two double tops and we take it higher and instantly reverse and make this nice bearish reversal bar this is a two-legged pullback now this is a second entry short you know second entry short is the pattern according to our rules we have a break and a new high so this is according to our rules and we might be still looking for a pen for potentially new low and this is what happened we actually have a two legs to new low here you can see they're almost measured very close to being measured and a lot of times a lot of you have been watching my videos from the get-go so you can see that you get 90% oh, of times you get two legs to the new low not just one and I actually went long here I actually went long too early here because we made a triple bounce from here now and I always tell you you want to fade the breakout and this is what I should have you know played it like I actually went long here and again and recovered my losses here excuse me but I went long here I tried to sn sn snack in a little bit early and I uh, actually you know had a loser here but you know that's it comes with the territory I should have been much more patient and wait for a fell break lower because this is most most of the time this is what's going to happen so I had to re-enter right here with a big bullish bar and once we trigger I actually went long once we triggered above this bar because this bar is inside bar of this bar so once we trigger above this, this is where I put my limit order at the close and I got filled and for fortunately I recovered my loser here. But notice once again what happened. We have a fell break lower. Yes, good. We have to trade it in the opposite direction. Okay, good. That's what happened. And now, once again, this is all the bullish momentum we got. We should Because if this is a good trading range, good healthy trading range where the both sides are equally balanced, we are working equally strong in the opposite direction from the highs to lows and from the lows to highs we should have went higher here easily we should have even break above this resistance and then potentially snap back but all we managed to do once again this little trend right here working higher break and a new high so now we made it only to the middle of trading range so this is how you can actually tell that we are going to work lower because we only made it to the middle of the trading range and once again we shoot through the EMA first entry second entry once again big bearish bar 
we only made it to the middle of trading range this bullish correction already already played out with the break any new high and I only mark this for experienced traders because if you're a beginner trader watching this you don't want to take the trades this is some sort of a no man's land you don't want to take the trades in the middle of trading range this, this is just for more experienced traders because I got those traders as well so this is a two-legged move second entry with the big bearish bar and it's almost a double top right here so this is for a little bit more advanced but this was this area is key information for us to not go long here because I actually some trader uh, emailed me and he went long here and he was asking me what did he do wrong and this is go long here would be great if the prices were going up and down up and down and mating it to the highs here to the resistance here but I told him and this is the reason I actually mentioned this I, I can remember this like a month ago I was talking ab about the same thing because the technical analysis you know the patterns repeat over and over again we made it only to middle of trading range and I'm repeating but I have to repeat myself constantly this is the way you're gonna learn this we only made it to the middle so this area told you that there is not enough bulls in the market to go along here once again this is just a trap for very beginner traders who just close their eyes and take longs just because we bounce from here but you want to be better than those guys you want to actually take a look analyze what happened here and you can tell the bears you know they are so imbalanced the forces right now are so imbalanced because there is much more bears in the market than bulls we didn't even make it to here we make it to the middle and the bears instantly jump to the market and big leg down so this is why you want to stay away from this this was just a trap and you can see how many people got trapped here i was very caught off guard with this move i didn't expect this to happen at all and once again i always keep telling you this is almost 90 degree angle this is almost like this and moves like this in whatever time frame you're trading whatever market you're trading 90 degree angle moves will not go long in their direction for long will not go in their direction for long they always will pull back they always have some sort of correction and just like i mentioned in my video where i explained the ema usage look how far away we are from ema and i keep telling you guys that ema keeps pulling prices closer to it and acts like a magnet and this is the prime example we are so far away from ema here that you have to be expecting bounce to get closer to the ema and i actually attempted to go long here i didn't get filled and i'm not going to mark this because this is just me taking a chance this is not you know key level because according to our rules we have to wait for prices to get to the trend lines or we have to wait for some sort of second entry or fell break lower but this is just i'm just buying the bottom i'm just guessing because this is just a big move down such an over overshoots such an oversold prices market and we are so far away from ema that i really think that the long here was good nevertheless i missed it and i didn't expect prices to reverse instantly like this i thought we might get some bounce from ema it didn't happen but you can see once again correction working higher always draw the shorter term trend lines so you know what's what is happening in the market you have a break attempt to make a new high but we can't we, we cannot make the new high because prices are now retesting this resistance that previously acted as a support so this is kind of a big breakout pullback on a higher picture we broke lower and pulled back and we tested the resistance but i still don't think you want to take the short here because this is not there are no clear setups here and the lower high here bar is way too big and it got big steam just skip this and we shoot through the ema we make a new low first entry second entry this is a tool like a pullback to the EMA market moves in twos to like a pullback to the EMA and I I went short when the when we triggered below this bar and I the, you know it would be better if the market triggered lower below this big bearish bar unfortunately it didn't happen and you can make a case that prices are starting to look a little bit congestion like and so you may you know skip this pattern but I was still fairly thinking going short after big move down like this and once again big move down like this we shoot through the EMA I like the two like a pullback to the EMA second entry short 
you have a break and a new high once again the short term trend line is helping you here and there's a trend line working lower and I didn't have the trend line at this point yet um, I only found this trend line once we confirm it right here but let me get to this once again we're working lower and you have a break you have a correction working higher once again break and a new high and you can see how these patterns repeat over and over so this is not that hard you have a break attempt to make a new high but this is a downtrend at this point EMA is holding prices this is a second most importantly this is a second entry short of the EMA so this is according to you know our rules that we only take second entries of the key entry point so this is a good second entry short and I didn't take this trade because I was you know talking to traders emailing I wasn't paying attention at this point but I also just like I want you to study this pattern I want you to study this pattern because at this point it now it looks clearly this is a downtrend this is hindsight 2020 of course but at this point if you look at the, the right side of the chart like this this is starting to look like a bottoming pattern because all these legs down are still higher higher than this low this low this low and this low are still higher than this low and we are starting to make some support so this is why I didn't take this trade and I don't know even if I should mark it because this is such a big bottoming pattern and you can see the prices are acting a little bit different here you can see the there's some you know support forming a lot of bulls are, are coming into the market this is just not a, a typical downtrend but I was probably too scared here because this is a you got two patterns merging and this is pretty much what you want you have a fell break higher from this trading range and most breakouts will fail and more importantly you have a bounce from this trend line at this point you cannot ignore this trend line because you set the trend line here you could confirm it here and you definitely confirm it here so I'm just gonna mark it even though I'm still a little bit afraid because I was really thinking prices might go long here and maybe I'm too overthinking this you know anything can happen but uh, I was probably I should have been sticking to my rules because you got two patterns here fell break higher okay one pattern and off to the trend line okay second pattern but you want to go short here because this is a now lower high and you always want to wait if you want to have you know more higher probability setups for lower highs and notice this big bullish bar we triggered higher we trapped so many bulls here who are trying to go long way too early they don't see this trend line and this is a lower high big bearish reversal bar good short here and if you want to be completely sure first entry second entry fell second entry short the first entry is triggered one tick above this bullish bar so this is a first attempt by the bulls to go long long it failed and there is a second attempt by the bulls to go long and, and this is how human psychology works the people will attempt to do some if something fails we will attempt to do one more time and if it fails the second time we will abandon our beliefs and we will let it go so this is why the second entries and this is why two-legged like pullbacks the second entries work in trading and look at this I how the volatility picked up and there might be this might be a two-tier channel more likely because if you're overshooting if you're overshooting so much if you're overshooting so much there this is more likely some sort of two-tier channel working lower and you can see there's a multiple first entry second entry short you have this double top right here now this day is starting to get much more easier I'm almost you know regretting I stopped trading because this down downtrends like this are very easy to trade and once again you have a new low right here you have a break attempt to make a new high but there's a multiple tops forming once again you have a lower high multiple setups opportunities for us to go short yet the days like this are easy and a lot of people like these days but um it, it didn't start looking like that we actually it started looking like trading range and the volatility was very slow this is what i'm gonna say to finish this the volatility was very slow early on and i thought i'm gonna lower my target to only two points but with this break lower the volatility luckily picked up so i kept my 10 tick target two and a half points but uh here it looked very slow because <laughs> because i took the order here and 
the target profit was so big and I wasn't really used to seeing that because we had few good volatile days lately so just something for you guys who keep asking me why I when I go for 10 ticks and when I go for 8 I only go for 8 very rarely very rarely only ver only when the volatility is really really weak very, very slow and it's not happening often I think in 2020 I just once or twice I lowered my target to 8 8 ticks just very rarely and you and if you're for whatever you're trading stocks forex other commodities oil always remember you want to have at least one to one ratio uh, because you want to be mentally you know in the zone and if you have one to one ratio you know you're going to make your loser back into one winning trade that's a very good feeling so this is a this is a bigger pattern today mm. the important you know situations to study is this situations this is a key indicator that we are going to go lower because we are not making we're not even close to make it to the resistance not even close and this is a bottoming pattern right here of course it looks easy now yeah you shouldn't go short here because this is a hindsight but when you're trading is live this move is steep and this move is very steep it's not that clear when you're trading it live nevertheless hope you guys had a great trading day hope you guys find this video helpful if you do you know what you gotta do hit that like button i really appreciate it and if you're interested interested in learning more about price action trading you can subscribe to the channel there's plenty more videos see you guys soon bye guys